Okay, after some cleanup, you have the lower control arm. And again, you just jack up your transmission just a little bit. Just to get that bolt out and in. Slide it in. You may have to jiggle this around a little bit just to get it in. And then screw it in. And then you can go and put this one in through the bottom on the new part. And then tighten it down and reassemble. Alright, so that's what we're going to do now. Now, the last thing that I like to do is I like to mark the nut with a paint pen after I've tightened it. So I know that I tightened that down. This way. I won't miss a nut when I go to tighten it down. Now, we can get the jack out of here because the bolt is in the other side. So we can move this out right of the way. This bolt back here. It's tight. We'll just mark it. kids but you should remember how you took it apart okay all right what are you gonna do to blow our 
those all joint. And that was a 18. Nineteen. Now the way you do these, you tighten this up, tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. something is dumb. Now the cotter pin goes in so it sits in the crown. This one fits, kids. What? That's the way it goes in. Just don't like it. Not a fan. Okay, that looks like it's supposed to go there. All right, now let's get the CV shaft in. Now you put this in. Give it a little pop like that, shove it in there. And it goes in and locks in place. Give it a slight little tug. Make sure that it went in. And that goes like that. Like so. Okay, I'm not going to tighten this up yet. Now we'll get the strut in. Okay.
Really wish I could have gotten the windshield wipers off, but I can't. So we don't have time to play with this. Ouch. So we have to do the best we can. Okay. Link 
next. Okay, that's in, that's in, that's in, that's in. These two are done, these three are done. This guy's done. Okay. This guy's done here. He's also got his pin in. This guy over here. Marked in blue, but I'm going to mark him again in pink. Or this is supposed to be red. It's actually pink now. So I don't know what to do. It's supposed to be red. Okay. I don't need this. Don't need that. Let's do the link. them up quick. Alright, that one's full. Grease guns. You can use them all you want. You're still gonna get grease everywhere. stock number two it's bigger thicker so I better not lose that pork and go with the aftermarket one let's leave the original one in Again with this, all right. So you just make it snug, and then you look and see where your crown is on your crown nut, and you just back it off lightly. Put your key cotter pin in so it goes all the way in locks into the nut.
This helps you do two things. One, you remember that you tightened it. And two, if it loosens, for any given reason, you'll see which one loosened and which one didn't. All right, this, I believe, was a 21. because I primed it but okay here we go all right now moving on hey okay you have to tighten this if you want people to see what the heck you're doing and not the floor you're right you're very right Okay. Now we can put the rotor back on. Perhaps. Yeah, we're here for the time you think you are.